One of the frequently asked questions by users who get a new phone is how to transfer charts from say for example an iPhone to an Android or vice versa and to be specific WhatsApp charts. In doing so, I actually never knew this but on WhatsApp's official website on the part about how to move charts from an iPhone to an Android, one of the steps they highlight is to reset your Google Pixel or Android device which is a headache because there's a possibility of losing all your data. Luckily, I found Wondershare Mobile Trans, which is a tool that you can use to retain photos, audios, chat logs, stickers, among many others, and some of the things you are able to do on WhatsApp's official website. It mentions that if you use WhatsApp's way, there's certain things you won't be able to recover. But using Wondershare Mobile Trans, some of those data and information can be transferred over from an old device to a new device. But the best part is now I don't have to format any of my devices in order to transfer charts from one device to another. So I don't need to make a decision about which phone keeps data and which one resets or formats. Just a quick disclaimer, this video is sponsored by Wondershare and if you look at some of my videos that I've done on the channel, you see that I've worked with Wondershare on numerous projects for mobile solution and the sponsorship doesn't include me saying this but their services have proved to be amazing from my experience. Now check out how easy it is to transfer your WhatsApp chats from one device to another using Mobile Trans. The first step is to download and install the latest version of Mobile Trans. Once installed, open the Mobile Trans software and then you can see different functions that you can do such as WhatsApp transfer, phone transfer, backup and restore among many others. And the one we are focused on is WhatsApp transfer. So there's different versions of WhatsApp and it's good that it lets you transfer your charts and your history for all different WhatsApp, so WhatsApp regular, you have WhatsApp business, GB and other versions. So I'll select WhatsApp transfer, the first option, click there. And now I'm going to go ahead and connect the phone, which is going to be the source phone where I want to take the data from. And this is the destination phone where I want my WhatsApp information to basically be transferred to. This iPhone is going to be the source. So I'm going to plug one end of my cable into the computer that's running mobile trance and the other end I'll plug it into the iPhone just like this and it shows that it's connected. Now if we go into our mobile trans software you can see the source iPhone has been found and it's connected successfully as you can see. Now the next step is to connect my destination device which is the one that I want to transfer my WhatsApp data to. So I'll make sure that one end of this cable is connected into the computer that's running mobile trans and then the other end I'll connect it into my Android device just like this. On the Android device if there's a pop up that says allow USB debugging, select allow. And now if we go into our Wondershare mobile trans software, you can see that both the source device have been connected successfully. It makes it easy to flip your devices. So if you want your Android to be your source and your iPhone to be your destination, you can easily flip those and look at the data type that it allows us to basically transfer over. So you have messages and you can do your photos, audio, voice notes, stickers, you can do documents, you can do animated gifts and others. And once you've selected the data that you want, click the option that says start. Now you can see there's a pop up that's asking whether I want to keep the existing WhatsApp data on my destination device. You can click yes, which would take a little bit longer to transfer or you can click no and the transfer speed will be much faster. Once you've selected your option, click next just like this. And now you can see it says enter the passcode to unlock your device. On the source device, which is the iPhone, you can see there's this pop up screen. So I'll quickly just enter my passcode and going back to mobile trans, you can see it's backing your iPhone 13 data. Please wait. And now you can see there's a pop up screen that says please enter the mobile number to log into the target device which is my destination device where I want my chats to be transferred to. I'll quickly enter the number and then click confirm and there's a pop-up telling you to please enter the same phone number as what's on the target device WhatsApp. 
So I'll click OK. And now there's a pop up screen telling me to install WhatsApp on my Samsung device, which is my destination device. So I'll quickly head over onto the Google Play Store and install the latest version of the WhatsApp Messenger. And on the mobile trans software, I'll click the option that says installed just like this. And you can see now it's telling me to log into WhatsApp using the phone number that I put on the previous step and then check whether my account information is displayed on the current page. And if it's display, I'll click the option that says displayed. If it's not displayed, then I can click the option that says not displayed. Opening the version of WhatsApp that I've installed, give it a few seconds as it opens up. You can see I'll agree and continue just like this. And now I'll put the phone number. You can select your country code by selecting the associated country right there. And you can see mine is already there. Now I'll put the phone number. It wants me to confirm whether this is the correct number and it is. So I'll click yes. Now it's uh, sending a code. So now I'll check for this code and put it right there. There's now this pop up screen. I'll quickly just click where it says continue and allow to access contacts and access audio. And now you can see it gives me the option to restore my chat. So I'll click where it says restore just like this. And if I click OK on the mobile trans software, you can see that the restore process has now completed. Now, if we go to the WhatsApp on the source phone, which was the iPhone, you can see it's been logged out. And now if we open WhatsApp on the Android device, you can see my charts have been brought over. And if I open a specific chart, you can see, for example, if you have emojis, if you have stickers or GIFs, they are all there. If you have audio from your previous charts that you wanted to transfer over or some location, images, videos, they all be backed up right here. The process was pretty easy, simple to follow, and it's just a matter of minute. And the best part is the headache of losing your data when transferring charts from one phone to another is now a thing of the past and it's all thanks to mobile trans. So to learn more and try it out for yourself, I'll leave links in the description of this video that you can check out and see what Wondershare's mobile trans can do for you.